this is sort of a roadside cemetery we was riding down the road and uh, saw a sign and we're gonna take a look at it and you'll notice it's got fields on all the sides of it there's a big old tree right there too that tree's old isn't it mm -hmm. that magnolia's old too mm -hmm. yeah i don't see any big cedar trees though this is interesting right here this is just an old wooden cross someone made nothing on it some modern burials right there are these old somebody ran over uh that could be old family plot like family square. plot stones yeah that someone's piled off to the side but i'm curious about well maybe they redid it because this could be kind of new yeah that's that's newer granite right there mm -hmm. someone been out mother's day to put some flowers down it looks like i'm curious about these back here this is one remember the ones we did with the hands You didn't bring the tool bag? Oh, do I need to go? I got to go all the way back to get the tool bag. All righty, so this is my bag here. If y'all can see that. My handy dandy uh, bag Robert gave me, but it has everything in there. It also hides my big stomach. In the no, it, doesn't. it doesn't hide it? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, it does. I got water. I got a brush. Robert, she, everything you need to be in here. But you know what's missing? My green shirt. It's not in here. Uh-oh. Where's the green shirt? I don't know, but you got a green hat. The executive producer, you were supposed to get the green shirt. All I got a green hat. Yeah. Okay, let's see if we can do something nice. here. This is some of that rainwater that I'd collected. I'm gonna try and brush it a little bit. Let's see if it all yet shows up really good, doesn't it? What is that name? Medi Lee. Maddie Lee. Yeah. Foreman. It's an E the Medi. Where's the E? That's an E right there. It is. There. It is an E. Oh, yeah, it's getting cleaned up too, isn't it? And that's just regular rainwater. Wow, it works pretty good. Yeah, it does. It doesn't have any uh, chlorine or fluoride or whatever it is they put in tap water these days. And... Okay. So there's the two hands. One's masculine, one's feminine. Remember that? Mm-hmm. Medi, M-E-T-T-I-E, Lee, Foreman, born May 31. Looks like it. 1865. Mm -hmm. Died March, March 11th, 1898. Uh, feeling very busy. Erected by C.S. Beasley, but there's something, yeah. a little epitaph thing. Yeah, we'll get it in a second. C.S. Beasley erected this. So she didn't live very long, did she? But I like the work mm -hmm. right there around that. Oh, you're getting grass stains all over it. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, okay. So that's that's pretty cool right there. Oh, look at this big one right here. Thomas Daniel. J. Daniel. July the 1st, 1830, 1835. 35. January 14th, 1908. Stone's been crooked a little bit. See that? It's been moved. Masonic symbol, Maso Ma Mason, right? Mm -hmm. Open gate, and something's, is that something written in there? Mm, sometimes mm. it's love, sometimes it's what? Let's take a look at it. Uh, it does say something, but I can't make it rest. I see peace, I see peace, something in there, but we, you know what I need in my little uh, handy dandy tool pouch is some D2 cleaner. I had some D2 cleaner. We could really clean this thing up, couldn't we? It's pretty. It is pretty. Look at how white the marble's showing Let's up now. Let's get the Masonic in them a little bit. Yeah, look here. at all that. That's just that growth, like that algae it. on it. Yeah. Yeah. If we had the. Is it lilies on either side of the um, uh, it looks gate? Like it doesn't it? Or just yeah, yeah a lily and lily. That's pretty. That's a big stone too. Very large stone, and the year, the date is uh, similar to ones we saw in the other. Yeah. Perfect piece. 
wonder if he gave me a flashlight in the handy dandy hmm. pouch. Let me see if there's a flashlight in the survival pouch he gave me. Might be one in here. Looks like an well, he didn't give me peace, a perfect peace. Yeah. Peace, perfect yeah, peace. I think that's cool. what it says. There's one right behind it too. Yeah. Let's go another look at that. Form. Let's go look at that. That's a little another, bit taller. And another um Masonic symbol. Yeah, another Masonic. AJ Foreman, April the 18th, 1836, March the 12th, 1911. And there's an epitaph there, which we're going to try and read real quick. You notice that it's foaming? Huh. It's foaming. From this, there's, no, there's nothing in this water. And this brush is clean. You know what it is? What? The fields on both sides of this cemetery, probably crop dusters and farm sprayers are getting chemicals in the air. Mm -hmm. Landing on here, and there's the F, the Foreman F. Look. That's pretty. Old English F. Yeah. Look at the urn on top. And it says, "'Tis the Lord who hath bereft us. Bereft us. Bereft us of the one we love so well. So we're gonna, maybe we didn't brought the water. Yeah, this thing is foaming up for some reason. This is pure rainwater, no soap in it. So more than likely, chemicals have landed on this stone. My assumption, my hypothesis. Ooh, that's dirty. Ooh. It is dirty, but hey, you know what we forgot? You know what we forgot? We jumped to AJ Foreman so quick. We forgot this one behind us. It has something written over here too on the back of this one. In life, we in life he exhibited all graces of a Christian. In death his spirit returned to God who gave it. Yeah. Got some fire wrench. You can see how the stone's been shifted over for some reason. And you notice we did we didn't notice there's doves on this side right here on this one mm -hmm. and something up here some kind of flower right up there definitely need to get some d2 down here one day and maybe try and clean these up let's look for some more all right look at this right here this sort of gets to your heart right here doesn't it look how sweet susan h daniel died november the 24th 1883 aged two months 13 days our angel baby Aww. and this is this is one of those metal ones, those, um, what was it? Was it magnesium or something? It's not aluminum. It was uh, zinc. Zinc. But it's called white bronze. White bronze. Yeah. And that, so let's get a good shot of the front of it here, y'all. So it has been here a while, and you'll notice. That's 1883. And you'll notice that it is not rusted, tarnished. Mm -mm. And look at the work. That's still in here, but this is mass produced. What I was told, they were mass produced, and then when you ordered it, they put the the uh, lettering in the middle. And on the back is the little hand with the ruffles around it. Lily of the Valley, right on the back, right there. And we pulled up some weeds here. Now let's look at another one. It says infant Homer and. Is that Mitty? I don't know what that Homer is. Homer and Mitty. Lee Foreman. Foreman. Oh, infant of Homer and Mitty Lee yeah. Foreman. Yeah, let me see the brush a second. Our, I can't make it out at our love. I can't make it out from our position here. I'll tell you what we'll do. We still got some water left, don't we? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just a drop. Let's put a little drop of water on here. See if it'll help out a little bit. Our precious no. loved, our loved one. Our loved, our loved one. Loved one. Our loved one. Hmm. Well, it's pretty. Put some just 
water on it. Okay. Is that Elmira? Mm hmm Elmira Susan, Susan Foreman. Foreman. July 14th, 1828. November 15th, 1908. Life. Love. Truth. truth. And it's the crown. There's the crown. With the cross. Uh -huh. Sailing up in the sky. And notice how those open, open are gates. square stones and the other ones that have been have been diamonds. These stones? Uh -huh, those are square. We have seen some with diamonds, yes. And the top's been but broken. Look how ornate. Look how ornate the gate is. The gate's very ornate. And then it's it's got columns on either side and the mm -hmm. and the arch. In the arch. But the top's been broken up pretty bad, hadn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's behind it. Oh, there it is. I wonder what it, it is. Something happened. It fell off. Oh, pick it up. Ah. Oh, it has a texture. Oh, it's the drape, right? Oh, how pretty. Yeah. pretty wow. Sure that's it. Oh, that it was broke pretty. off for some reason. Take Could, it, ooh, it, it, I'm going to set it back down. I don't, I don't want to damage anymore. Wow. A lot of time, stones will have faults in them, and the weather can get in there and cause the, cause the uh, wow. freeze to... To separate the stone or it could have been hit with something that might be part of it over here uh, that's actually another field stone that's a field stone that's a foot stone right there jane foreman and james foreman jane was born 1803 died 1882 january 31 1803 and died october the 14th 1882 james foreman born october 16th 1798 died November 19th, 1852. 1852. So these here. could be some of the older people. Could be. And, and where we're at now, I think, I don't know what year. In the 50s, this might have still been Randolph County. I can't remember when uh -huh. they split it to uh, what it is now. Now it's called uh, Webster County. Webster County. Yeah, here's a field stone. Is that Johnny? Yeah, jo Johnny. Johnny and Dismuke, but usually when it's spelled like that, it could be a woman. Could April be. 2nd, 1889, December 13th, 1915, a light from our house, household is gone. A voice we loved is stilled. A place is vacant in our home, which never can be filled. Yeah. And, um, there's flower. an anchor and the dove. That's a really neat dove. And the dove is still intact. Has, and it even has yeah. feet. Yep. See the feet? That's it does. Cool. You're right. Now go to the side, and there's a, a calla lily on the front. Right. Or a and trumpet flower like of some sort. Stacked um, bricks. Stones, yeah. Yeah, masonry. That's what it is. Masonry. Yeah, a little brick wall yeah, in the a back. Brick neat. wall there. Okay. Stone wall. Yeah. Pretty neat. Pretty neat right there. Let's get a good shot of it. Here's right a the front sweet little right here. right here in front. Bessie, Bessie, daughter of J. L. and E. J. Dismute, or Dismune, Dismute. D Des Desmuke, Desmuke, sometimes I think they pronounced them. And oh, you can sit much better. Now. Yeah. Okay. February. 8th, 1893, October the 4th, 1894. Didn't live very long. Let's brush it one more time. Not quite a year, about seven yeah. months. Our darling, darling one has gone, gone before to greet us on the bright shore. On the bright, the bright shore. Blissful shore. Blissful shore. Yeah. Pretty. And there's the lamb. Is that the lamb on the little, top right there? The lamb. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, that's cleaning up good. Yeah, it is. I'll get back this one one day with some D2 and I'll give it a real good spraying. Look at the little details right here that's mm -hmm. coming out. That's a sweet one. Yeah, it is. I'm going to rinse it off. Go look at another one now, okay? All right, let's see what we got on. here. Let's clean this one here. Another infant. Another infant. Infant son of J.L. and E.J. Dismukes, 
January 22, 1877, March 18th, 1877. He is not dead, but sleepeth. Children did not live very long, did they? This one was only a couple months. Yeah. And that was, ooh, 77. That one was like. Yeah. Paying the camera right over here. Earlier? Here's another. Let's see if this is another child. It looks like a child. Lester. 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 Son of J.L. and E.J. Dismick, September 5th, 1891, January 25th, 1892. 1892. Jesus loves the pure, pure and, holy. and holy. May you rest in peace, children of the Dismicks. That one lived beyond a year. So, a lot no, of things... No, it didn't. No, it didn't. A lot of things could have happened. There could have been a... a uh, Genetic issue with the family. There's a woodman of the world over here. Oh, it is. I look here. Several of them here. We need an umbrella. Yeah, it's getting hot out here. It's probably going to be 90 degrees today, y'all. So we got to cut the camera off for a second to cool it down. We'll be right back. Here's one of a child. A the lamb. lamb. Raised. Yeah. Raised. Yeah, it is pretty neat. Let's see if we can read this here. William T., son of. Mm. J T Y and O E Brown Brown, Brown born November 26, 1895, died October 5th, 1896. Oh man. I need to get my water brush and my brush down there. Oh yeah. A little bit of good. Love this little, we love this little tender, tender one. one. Uh, and will wished him stay, but I can't make that out. Blank our Father's will, will be done. He shines in endless day. Endless day. All right, I've run out of water. William T. Be rest in peace, son. So this is a example of a um, hand scribe. Is that the right word for it? Mm -hmm. Christie Leverett, 1885. You can see where someone just came in here and. Pour a sack of concrete or something and scribed it in there and down here I can't make this out down here no it's charity Leverett you sure? charity uh, you know what I don't have any water left on my brush but you might be right that could be a C yeah charity yep you're right I think it's yeah I think you're right I think that's a C I think it is but they just hand scribed it in 1885 and there's something on here, but like I said, I've run out of water. And it could be mother. Yeah, it says know. mother. Mother right there. Another one, three of them here. One, two, three. This one here says Mary Ooh. Leverett, sister of. Oh, this one off. Yeah. You think that's the dad? Or? Uh, I don't know, but this says Mary Everett, sister of. And the fire ants have got it here. And uh, you got a, a yeah, you see the L up in there. You may try and sweep this off with a brush. I got a brush here. Got a lot of fire ants on it. It's the last thing I need is fire ants on me. Try to find the one in the middle. I know I'm gonna find this right here. I think I'll leave these fire ants alone here today. It says Leverett. Mm -hmm. So we can just assume. What about this? Yeah. This one buried here. There is, but that's, I, I didn't bring nothing but this brush. I didn't bring the, the handy dandy survival kit. Didn't have the rake and stuff in it, but I gotta come back anyhow and bring some D2 to work on some of these others over here. Let's go take a look at them over there. Here's a whole line right here of, that looks like a, a stamp one that's been broken and been reset in the ground. It would have been taller. Here's a whole line of them here that were 
uh, like poured cast concrete or something right in here and then there's some over here let's go look at these over this way father mother no one knew thee but to love thee that's Mary E. Leverett, born April the 29th, 1826, died May the 27th, 1914. And Maston U. Leverett, born November the 19th, 1805, died March the 29th, uh, is that 1871? Yeah, yeah, it's an eight, eight, 871. Uh, I cannot make that Death out. Death is... Death is eternal. Life, life something. By should we weep? Why should we weep? Yeah. Death is, is eternal. Why should we weep? And this is a double. It still has this on the top. Usually these are gone. Look. Don't touch it. Usually those are gone by the time well, I find one broken really or something. And there's a double. And so... Hmm. They're both laid to rest right here. Yeah. Side it, by side, that's possibly. That's an early one. And see mm -hmm. the carving on the arch? The style of this is yep. very... Um, now, we've seen them double, but much bigger, too. Right. And um, But see the car... Th this is like a... I can't think of the word I'm looking for, but it's... Um, need to pay attention to the year. So this yeah. was probably placed in 1870. And bought then. Yeah. Mm, could be. Or maybe, maybe they put it in, maybe they put it when when she passed away. Could be, could be. It's possible. Say. Yeah. yeah. Now here's another example of the of the mother father. Now that one was father mother. This one is mother father. Mother father. Largely, and you see it's been cracked before. And it's missing something on the top, I Yeah, think. very top could be missing something. This is much larger than that one over there. But it's uh, more crudely carved. I mean, it's more, and it's got yeah, the, the C, the letter C. The, yeah, the, that's it, one. really. And this here yeah. is the only... A little bit of a um, indention, yeah. and then a, a just a, a line So not as surface. much craftsman steel was right, used. Right, but it's it's uh bulk yeah. much bulkier sa culpepper may the 16th 1836 february the 14th 1921. 1921. oh died. hey she died today's on, the 16th too isn't it? she died on um, february 14th on Valentine's in today's Day. may the 16th is it yes well golly gee. yeah ma culpepper August the 20th, 1836, 18. September the 3rd, 1906. And there's the Culpepper name right there. But. And a thorny little bush right there, too. Which, so they were born the same year. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. So she died on Valentine's Day and went to be with her love. Yep. Because he died Very first. good point, yes. He died first. Very large stone, too. Every bit of seven foot to the top. Mm-hmm. And uh, another example of the twin pillars. Let's go look at some more. All right, this one is a Civil War stone. Is that wheel? Man, I can't see it. I cannot see it at all. I've run out of my water to clean it with. William. Harbuck. William Harbuck Company. B. B. Third Georgia Reserve CSA. Wow. Yeah. Harbuck. It doesn't have a year. One of those really weathered. We've seen these before at New Hope, remember? Mm-hmm. But this one is really weathered. I can I can't even make it out. Barely make it out there. Just pan it real quick and maybe yeah. we can see it Maybe I can go back and look at it later. I see I 1901. I see, I see Harbuck. Harbuck, yeah. I see Oh, 1904 and 1904. Am I reading that right, y'all? 04 and 04. I cannot make out a name. It's really weathered. Let's go back and give this one at least a, a view. Oops, blood. 1894 and 97. 
And here's, whew, this is a woodman of the world right here. Jesse C. Hancock, August the 11th, 1898, December the 20th, 1926. God gave, he took, he will restore, he doeth all things well. Woodman of the world, I don't know if you've seen our video, uh, an entire video on Woodman of the world, telling the story of him. Axe and the hammer, and I guess that's the wedge thing, and here it is, some Latin word, which means, I don't know what it means. I don't speak Latin. Woodman of the world. An infant, which I can barely read, 1905, I can't make that out. I cannot make that out. W. Willie Lou Hancock, August 26, 1905, May the 25th, 1906, maybe. I cannot read that on the bottom, y'all. Cannot. I cannot make it out. And Sarah Jane Hancock, November the 29th, 1835, December the 6th, possibly 1919. I cannot, we trust, I cannot, loss will be her gain, and that with Christ, she's, I cannot make, come again, maybe. I apologize for not being able to read that, y'all. Here's another Civil War soldier, John N. Foreman, Company E, 31st Georgia Infantry, CSA. Nice clean stone. It's sheltered by this big magnolia tree right here. We got it sheltered right here. So a big grassy space here that is probably some burials. This is an old cemetery. I don't see why they would have it all, all that tree line right there, unless this is maybe unmarked burials. I don't I don't know nothing about it. I think this is the foreman called the Foreman Cemetery. And you can see the, the magnolia tree and this big oak tree and the fields all the way around it. Uh, and there's some modern, recent burials here. So I don't think it's associated with the church. I think it's associated with a family or an extended family. Uh, and very interesting. Just be riding down the road and I saw a sign that said Foreman Cemetery. So I hope you enjoyed this little short um, diversion here today on this hot southwest Georgia summer day. And I hope that you can join us next time we take a little stop. And we'll come back here. We'll be back here and give it a little more... Um, a little more uh, research on it and maybe bring my D2 sprayer back here too. I got a gallon of it just the other day. So I'm looking forward to maybe spraying some of these stones down and trying to clean them up. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget to like, share, comment too. If you know if you know anything about these families here, y'all related to them or something like that, put a comment in there. Thank you very much for joining me on this adventure in history.